welcome back to my channel. It's me, Judy, and today we're doing another storytelling. Last time I did this, it was Stone Soup by Anne McGovern. For today, it's a mysterious book many of you might not hear or heard it. So, it is called The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pister. Let's begin! A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a little fish. Not just any ordinary little fish. It was the literally the most beautiful fish in the entire blue ocean. His scales were every shade of blue, green, and purple with silver scales. And do you know something? They sparkle! The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, rainbow fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the rainbow fish would just glide past and be proud, letting his scales shimmer. Seriously, bad choice. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your scales. They're so shiny and you have very lots of them. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me! Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would want anything to do with the rainbow fish. They would just swim away when he came near. I told you that was a bad idea to not play with the friends. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to look and admire at them? Now he was the most loveliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to a starfish. I am so beautiful. Why wouldn't anyone in this entire ocean like me? I can't answer you. That, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef, you'll find a cave with an octopus. He's really wise and he might be able to help you. That was a bit creepy. Talking starfish never heard of it. The rainbow fish found a cave. It was very dark inside. He couldn't see a thing inside it. Then suddenly two eyes caught him and the darkness cave showed and revealed an octopus. That was emerged in from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your little story. This is my advice. This will give you a nice happiness. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. Okay, so now we're going to go to the next page. I can't, said the rainbow fish. But the octopus has already disappeared into the dark cloud of ink. Give me my precious scales, my beautiful, shining, precious scales. Never! How could I ever be happy without those little, precious, shining scales? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Maybe the little blue fish wants to be friends with the rainbow fish. But again, he was the one who made everyone else go away from the rainbow fish. I don't know. Let me just keep on saying to you. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. And the rainbow fish waved. Only one little scale. One small, shiny little scale, he thought. Well, it wouldn't miss just one small, shiny little scale. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. I don't think he would be able to take a big one. So this might be a good one. Thank you. Thank you very much, rainbow fish. The little blue fish bubbled happily. As he tucked the shiny scale among one of his blue ones, a rather 
particular feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new skill glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by other fish. Everyone wanted the glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scale left and right and gave more. The more delighted he became when the more he gave. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he was at last home with the other fishes. Happy, 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 happy. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining skill left. Saddy, 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 sad. His most prized possession had been given away, yet he was happy. Happy, 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 happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, the rainbow fish said as happy as a splash. He swam off to join his new made friends. So this is a very special storytelling because if you had heard any of my other storytelling videos, you would never have heard a single moral. But this story is going to have a moral that might be fun. Actually, it is supposed to be in your life. Sharing will give you the most happiness you have ever received. That is the moral. Well, that is just a plain moral. You want to hear it in song version? version? Happiness will give you a better chance, better chance. And to take happiness, you must share to the world, share to the world to bring in happiness. Okay, so that is it. If you want to hear more, you might just make up your own because this is the first part of the lyrics. So write in the comments down below what you think should be the other part and I'll sing it to you, maybe. So this is the end of the story. I hope you like it. I hope you will share this video to your friends. Please share this video to your friends. Hit the like button and hit the bell. Click the subscribe button and don't forget to smash the smashing, smashing like button. I actually said like button uh, just a few minutes ago, but who cares? Just click the smashing, smashing like button and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.